<laughs> okay, uh, so you know, we're not gonna be wearing shirts. <laughs> We're gonna get started and get into this get ready with me. Um, bare face, my hair is, we'll get there. We're gonna get there, let me slow my roll. Um, <laughs> so I was really inspired to do like a really like full beat glam look. Like I just wanted to, I really wanted to get in and like do a full coverage, like full coverage glam, just really beautiful glam makeup. Um, so I'm gonna start off with using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Love Chain. This is a lip and cheek stain. So I'm gonna use that. And I like to use this before I do anything else because I noticed that like um, if I like did concealer or anything like spot corrected and then did this, it would basically kind of rub the concealer away. So just because of the type of formula it is, but we're gonna do a little bit of this and we're gonna kind of do it heavily. So, I mean, it may look a little odd, but obviously we're doing full coverage. So we still want this to come through. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look crazy, don't worry. It's kind of like that trend that people were doing on TikTok where they did like the red lipstick or whatever. I never got into that, but um, it's kind of like that. Yes, yes, we look super crazy, but now I'm gonna go into kind of correcting um, my skin has actually been doing a lot better. Now I just really have a lot of hyperpigmentation, but I do now, as of today, have a few little active bumps in this area. Um, so, you know, it's not me if I'm not tore up, as I usually say, so whatever. Whatever. So I let this kind of sit. Um, so when we blend it out, it's a little bit more um, like full coverage because it has sat and got tacky, so it's not gonna really move around a lot and get super creamy. You guys kind of already know the drill, so I'm gonna kind of really speed through this process um, just because y'all yeah, have seen this so many times for me, but we just haven't done it in a while. Okay, so we're gonna move on to foundation, and this is an OG classic for me. You guys know how much I love this. This is NARS um, Radiant, what is this? Their Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I haven't used it in a while. If I was on an island, more than likely, I would probably end up choosing this. And then I'm gonna be using a little bit of this Dior Air Flash. Um, I recently bought this and I really like it, but I feel like it's really great to mix with makeup as well. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using Makeup Forever's Ultra HD in 31 Macadamia. And I'm only gonna be using just a little bit right in the darker areas of my eye. And then I'm gonna blend that out. Then I'm gonna be using my Hourglass um, concealer. I haven't used this in a minute. This is Sepia. Again, I'm going to list everything down below. Um, sometimes I forget to do that, but I'm gonna make sure I'm on it and list everything down below so you guys can obviously know what I'm using. Now I'm going to contour my face. I'm gonna be using the Sunkiss Bronzing Cream from NARS and Laguna. And I really actually like this and I've been kind of using it more because this has this like coolness that really like gives it a contour versus just like a, a bronzer, at least this shade. I have the other shade Casino. I don't typically use that one, but this is a really like nice sculpting shade. I really like it. Now I'm gonna be using a cream blush, this is from Fenty Beauty. This is a new cream blush, this is Peach Face. Okay, so I'm gonna be setting my T-zone and under eye area with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in Banana. So I have a little bit of bake under the eye. Um, now I'm gonna be using my one size uh, powder foundation and I'm gonna set the rest of the face, like the perimeter, you know, the rest of the cheeks, contour and all that stuff. Okay, so I tried this the other day and I don't know how it's gonna look with full coverage, but I liked it on a more like natural, like really like no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna take this Jaclyn 
Cosmetics. Um, this is her Mood Light powder. So this is like the powder, the more luminous powder. And I'm going to basically, I love this for a highlight because you can really pack this and it's really natural and subtle but really beautiful. But I'm gonna actually use this all over my face. And I know you guys are gonna be like, what? Um, I don't know, it just gave me like a really nice look uh, when I was just using it all over my face on a natural look. Um, and I really liked it. And I don't feel like it really like, I have some texture, but that's gonna be there regardless. So I'm kind of just like, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know, it just gave me, it just gave me like the really inner glow kind of look. Because sometimes my looks can be really matte and I don't mind that. I like matte looks, but sometimes you wanna bring like some, some type of glow to the look to make it look a little bit more just radiant, not so flat. I mean, granted, it's going to emphasize a little bit more texture probably than leaving it completely matte, but you can already see it to begin with, so who cares? And then the last powder is going to be this Dragon Beauty uh, Under Eye. This is transform the Transformation Face Powder. I like to dip in both. Um, this is kind of like, I have my other Jaclyn like eye brightening powders that she has, but um, yeah, this is really just to brighten the under eye. Okay, so I'm going to set my face, because that is not the last of the powders. I still need to bronze and do a powder blush, of course. But for now, this is it for the complexion. We're gonna move on to eyes, but before that, we need to set. I use a lot of powders, so I really need to, I need to get this together. And by the way, I really like the setting spray. I don't use setting spray often, but when I do, I really love this Benefit one. It's really good. Hey, you guys. So I zoomed you in so we can get into the eye makeup. Uh, so we are going to be doing a really just like super glam. I have a couple of palettes in front of me. I'm like, I really want to do a really beautiful, structured eye makeup look. Like I, girl, I'm here for it. So I have several palettes that I'm gonna be using, if I can grab the other one. <laughs> um, I have one size, love this one. Mel, I used to use this all the time. This is their Vita palette. And then the Ash K Home Buxom one. And what I really love about this Mel one, I wanna show you guys real quick. I really am like obsessed with the middle. I mean, it's a really vibrant palette, but these shades right here, oh, do not mind my nails. They're just falling apart. Um, I don't know what to say, like they're just, they're falling apart and I have been ignoring it. I typically, this would probably irritate me usually, but I just don't have enough energy to be irritated at nails, I don't. So we're just gonna move on from that. But I'm gonna be dipping in these palettes to create this look. I've already primed and kind of created a little cream transition in my crease. So let's get started. Let me open all these up so I know what to use. So I'm gonna start in the Melt palette. I'm gonna use this shade here and really start creating a beautiful transition. More than likely this look is probably gonna be more matte, um, very neutral, but it's gonna give you that glam, that structure, that KKW, that Kylie, <laughs> um, you know, their glam looks that they do all the time, which are so beautiful. I'm using Unfiltered from the Buxom palette. And I'm adding that basically on top of the other shade just to bring in a little bit more warmth. I'm gonna go into Suede Charm from one size and I'm going to, I switched my brush. I don't even know what brush this is. Some brush, it's a little bit more dense and I'm focusing this in the actual crease. I'm going to use a little bit of Soft Serve and put that in the crease as well really deepen it up. I'm using this Juvia's Place um, eye primer. It's like a colored one. This is the shade two. I'm also gonna put in shade one. All right, so now that I did my little cut crease, I'm gonna be taking the Manila Sands from one size and I'm going to start in the inner corner with this and then transition into like some different shades. 
And then I'm gonna go into a little bit of mango. Then I'm gonna go into this shade here and I'm gonna kind of really blend all of that into one. Create like a really bomb matte look. I'm adding a little bit of brownie at the end and I'm probably gonna wing it cause that's just how I like to do it. All right, so pretty much the eye makeup is done. I just need to put on mascara and then I'm gonna be doing some false lashes. Um, but it's a very just like structured, blown out, neutrally brown, like you get the vibes, you get it? Yes, so let me finish it by doing the mascara and all that stuff and then I'll be back to finish the rest of the face. All right, you guys, so I did my brows. I didn't tell you I was gonna do my brows, but I did them off camera because we got to go. Um, eye makeup is done, so let's do the rest of the face, which is really just like the blush and everything and maybe a few freckles because skin is acting up. And then of course our lip combo. I'm gonna be using Scott Barnes for blush and bronzer. His palettes are just, they are so good. I'm gonna just mix the four right here just to get a good little blush color. I mean, we already have blush coming through, but just can't do enough of it. So I'm using Pat McGrath's um, lip liner and contour. I'm gonna fill the lip in with this. And then I'm gonna overline with my Total Taupe from Makeup Forever. Then I'm gonna be using a classic Nude Kate from Charlotte Tilbury. Hit the center. And then just to add like a little flush of color to the lip, I'm gonna be using that same stain. So I decided to wear a wig and um, I don't know why my hairline just always plays me close, but basically this is my baby hairs on the sides because I can never get a wig to cover my baby hairs nowadays. I don't know what the deal is with that, but this is a bangy type wig anyway. So let me get my hot comb ready here. So I'm basically gonna curl, do exactly what I'm doing all over my head, um, and we'll be done. And then I have a little top on, but um, I'm actually not gonna be wearing an outfit because I, girl, I'm not gonna front. After this, I need to be getting some pictures and videos done for my Savage X Pink cheek. <laughs> okay, uh, so you know, we're not gonna be wearing shirts. <laughs> Anyway, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. I'm gonna be using Tom Ford Metallic. I think that's what you say, how you say it, Metallic? Metallic? I think so. Ugh, I smell divine, I look, girl, I look good, I'm, I look good. The hair, everything, I mean, this hair is from RPG Show Wigs, just so you guys know. Um, this is this like really cute bang, 
Uh, I just love, it looks so, so nice. I love it, it looks so, so good. Hold on, I, that little fly ways. Let me, let me lay those down really quick. <laughs> I love this look, it looks amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and just tuning into your grill and creating this look with me. I love it, I hope you guys love it. If you followed along, girl, I know you look good, but if you create your own look, I know it looks good too. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys comment, um, let me know what you guys think, of course. Make sure you guys subscribe, because I'm not making videos for myself, I'm making them for you guys as well. So make sure you guys subscribe, and of course, hit the notification bell. I know that's really repetitive, it's super cliche, but but hit that bell because YouTube will then tell you when I post and you guys will stay up to date to all my videos. Um, I need to hurry up and get this content done for Miss Shabbage while I'm cute and looking great and my child is asleep. So I love you guys so, so much. Bye.